Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Kingsley's Adventure for the Sony PlayStation 1, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now I said Kingsley's Adventure, not Kingley's Adventure, that's not the same game. In fact, I think one of them is not even a game at all, as far as I'm concerned. But anyways, I've had this game requested to me a couple times by someone, I don't remember who, but that person is loyal to the channel, so I figured why not just give this game a chance. I did practice some of it, and I'll admit for a 3D platformer, it's a little bit disappointing. But I've played worse games. Okay, I want to like start a new game. Can I start a new game? Oh, I can go to load game. Oh, you can check your options from here. Adjust your screen, check the controls. Okay, so those are your controls there. L1 is your camera, R1 is to look. Strafing is L2 and R2. Action is defend, usually like swinging your weapon. You can defend with circle, jump with X, check your status with the triangle button. And pressing select allows you to go to your inventory and start to pause. Okay. That means I don't have to explain the controls to you. Because, well, technically I already just did. Let's start a new game, shall we? The Fruit Kingdom was not always so peaceful. An evil wizard disguised as a chef stole the Queen's Book of Magic and sent the kingdom spiraling into despair. One by one, the defenders of the realm were overcome by Bad Custard's evil magic and forced to become the Dark Knights, the scourge of the kingdom. All hopes were lost until an unlikely hero emerged to challenge the tyranny of the evil rodent. Kingsley, an orphaned fox cub, small in size, but large in spirit. And has no legs. <laughs> oh, okay, actually he does have legs. Okay, so as you can see, moving in this game is kind of weird. Like, use left and right just to turn, like, where you want to go. And then you hold up to go. Which is pretty obvious. Eileen, I have decided to become a true knight and defeat Bad Custard! Kingsley, you are so brave! Take this shield! And go to Old Wrinkle, who will see if you can become a true knight. Please take care, dear boy. Don't worry about me, I can take care of myself! Okay, now we got a shield. Alright, so apparently you can talk to them using circle as well. By holding circle, of course, you can use your shield. Huh, I don't even have a weapon, so I can just punch things. Not that it would do me any good. You practically need a weapon in order to beat this game. And if you're looking for a game that's a collect-a-thon, well, you're going to be disappointed. This one's not much of a collect-a-thon either. But apparently you can get money. I think money is needed for extra lives. So we'll be on the lookout for those chests as much as possible. Huh! Look at this bathtub over there that you can't even jump into. Yeah, jumping feels a little weird, as is the movement. That's why I'm not exactly a huge fan of this game. It just doesn't feel so fluid. Hello, Wrinkle! I don't even come to night! What do I need to do? First, you must complete your training. I will let you into the training rooms to see whether you are worthy. Wow, look at his jaw. It looks so dislocated. Great! When do I start? Right now, if you like. Just go through the door that is open behind me. What, this one? Okay. Okay, this is the training area. It tests your jumping skills. Don't interrupt me. I know how to jump. Which, obviously, I failed because, well, doing turning jumps does not really work very well. Like, you practically have to wait until you're straight on. Here are the weapons you want to for the next part of your training. Thank you! Where's the locker? Bring up the weapon menu. Move left or right to choose one and then press X. Okay, so I have a sword and I have a crossbow. I'll stick with the sword, thank you. Okay, L1 allows you to do that. 
then you go into like almost first person just by holding R1. No, no, stop for your weapons training. Select your dagger. Oh, it's a dagger. From your inventory and attack me. On guard. Yeah, you have to be using your shield quite a bit in this one. That allows you to counter melee attackers. I'm glad he doesn't mind that I'm just like stabbing him right in the balls or anything. <laughs> Maybe he's wearing a cup. I don't know. But even then, that's gotta be broke by now. Well, fuck, Kingsley. I'll try the crossbow targets with the door. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah, the voice acting seems a little weird. Like it's trying to be almost like Banjo Kazooie, but not doing well. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh, apparently one arrow equals ten in this game. Looks like I need a key. There we go. You can also use R1 to do this. It makes it a lot easier to aim at your targets. Yep, I know how that works. I just did that. Alright, so I gotta wait a while. Your arrows actually travel pretty fast. Yeah, I did not read that because, well, I probably won't be using the crossbow as much. Okay, so apparently that's an apple key. At first I thought it was a bomb key. No, that might be a cherry. Doesn't matter. Either way, it's a key. To flick a switch, stand in front of it and press square. Okay. You can push and pull some objects, apparently. I gotta hold down circle and use that. So I guess I gotta do that over here. Get it over here? Yes, I can. I didn't even try to get it that perfectly straight. I thought I was going to be off. Try stepping on that floor pad over there under the spotlight. Okay. This has opened a door for you. You better hurry through. Yeah, it's one of those time switches. Hold on, Kingsley. However, I must take those weapons back and return them to the armory. Oh, I was just getting used to them. Aw, I have no weapons now. Ooh, I'll definitely take what's in here then. These are still allowed to keep the shield. Well done, Kingsley. Now you must complete the King's quest and find the true knight items. Only then may you become a true knight. Cool. But where do I find the true knight items? Fear not. They will find you. Now speak to the king and queen. They will tell you what to do. Oh, and take this dagger. You're going to need it. Thank you, wise old wrinkle. I'm on my way. Oh, see, so yeah, I just get the dagger back. After having to give it back, like, what, just 30 seconds ago? I'll just jump in this fountain. Yeah, them kids aren't gonna get their wishes now. <laughs> I think the king and queen are over here. Is that the way to go? This castle seems to have a lot of rooms. I don't even remember when I practiced this, I explored everywhere. I'm going to the shop now. Do you need anything? No thanks. Maybe I do need something. Maybe to find where the king and queen are. Fine, I'll just take some of this extra money. It's only two coins. That's not really a lot to find in a treasure chest. I don't think the king and queen are that way. That leads to the library. Alright, let's just go back this way. They're probably over here, then. That would make a lot more sense. Yep, there, there they are. Wow, the queen looked out a very skinny neck. Congratulations, Kingsley! Yes, well done! 
Old Wrinkle tells us you are worthy of true knight apprenticeship. Unfortunately, there is no time for celebration. Kingsley, I have a very important quest that must be completed. Bad things are happening all over Fruit Kingdom. The king and I are perilous. That's right. You're our last hope, Kingsley. Your first quest is in Sea Town. Find Briny Jim. He'll tell you what to do. Take this key. It will let you into the castle basement from the library. You can get to Sea Town through the foxhole down there. Sea Town. I'm on my way. Okay, so I guess we gotta see what's going wrong with the town. Eh, I went there. Of course, you expected that. Okay, so I got myself a grape key. I don't think this leads to the library, does it? You know what? I think this led back to where I started. You know, before the training room. So I'll just follow these books. Man, they don't do a do good job cleaning this library. There's books everywhere. It's messy. What if you step on them? Alright, so now, thanks to this key, I should be able to get to our first area. That's a ramp? They don't even have stairs! Huh, <laughs> I just kicked a spider. Oh, that's much better. These give you five. Okay, so I gotta find a way to the foxhole. That's locked. That's also locked. Okay, I'm gonna need a key to get through all these portcullises. Oh, I see it. I don't know if these spiders can hurt you, but I don't want to find out. There we go. Now we gotta look, probably look for a switch. There it is. Ah, oh, that opened the way to the foxhole. Is it this one? Uh-oh. They're timed. I was too late, wasn't I? What was the poor colas that led to the foxhole? No, wait. It was open the whole time. Did I get what's in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Navigating around this game can be so weird. Yeah, I'll save my game. Yeah, if it'll ask me to overwrite, I'll just say yes. Because that was my old save file. I don't know if you can have more than one save file. That'd be pretty bad. Okay, so this is Sea Town, obviously. Uh -huh. I am No Beard, the second most fearsome pirate in the Fruit Kingdom. I'm looking for Bunny Jim. What? Are you not scared? I am No Beard. No, I'm not scared, you silly fish. Have you seen him anywhere? You're really not scared, are you? Oh well, try looking in this pub. Okay. Must be this one. Or is it this one? I'll take a look. My name's Kingsley. I'm on a quest. Uh, really? The name's Heart Attack. I used to be the lookout on Brandy Jim's galleon, but Gallagher stole his ship and my wages with it. This must not be the pub, then. Alright, I guess I gotta try a different building. Maybe it's this one. Oh, there's another person to talk to. My name is Kingsley, Apprentice True Knight. Do you need any help? Not me, thanks. But I'm glad I found you. Ronnie Jim is very worried. He's in his barrel shaped bar called the Salty Sea Dog. Oh, must be this one then. And these must be just other random buildings. Oh, you're ugly. If you want a drink, you go get it yourself. Do I look like a barmaid? Actually, I'm not thirsty right now. I was looking for Bronny Jim. Kingsley, you should have said yes, because look at her. 
Well, he's behind the bar. You look like something from SpongeBob. Hello there. My name is Kingsley. Are you Barney Jim? Indeed I am. Well, Kingsley, I have some bad news. Captain Gallagher has stolen my galleon, and now no one can trade with Sea Town. This is a task worthy of your night. Where can I find this Gallagher? Sir Rufus of the Rabbits built an undersea tunnel to get to Cutlass Isle. Go to Cutlass Island through the secret trap door behind the bar. The entrance to his cave is in the lighthouse. Okay. I guess I'll be heading there then. You can tell Captain Gallagher is bad because his text is in red. Okay, looks like that's where I gotta go. Alright. Oh, it's nighttime already? Weird. Alright, so I gotta just follow this path. That seems pretty simple to do. Alright, the secret entrance must be here. Okay, technically this is our first dungeon. They also have shields. There we go. That was easy enough. Okay, just watch out for the cannon fire. And the crabs. Certainly don't want to be dealing with any crabs here, that's for sure. I meant those crabs, not... Never mind. Oops, I'd like to open that. But first, let's deal with th this lobster over here. That one actually had three, three bronze coins. Oops! I actually took a hit there. Oh! Yeah, movement is so awkward, especially if you're trying to close in on the guy. There, I got some of my health back. Yeah, the dungeons are actually kind of short. And like, every time you enter a new area, that's technically a checkpoint. Ouch. Took a dumb hit there. I want that coin. I'm greedy. Whoa! Apparently that crab just jumped right over the abyss there. He's got some balls. You can decide to block them, or just wait till he puts the shield away before you can swing back. Oh, I thought there was a trap for some reason. Okay, let's see what's waiting for us over here. Okay, this area can be dangerous, because I think there's going to be some boulders that come down on you. What? I swung, but for some reason he just wouldn't swing. That barrel will start to show up now. Okay, this point is annoying because, well, when you're backtracking, you go very slow. And when you turn around, I mean, you gotta, like, do all this, and that costs you time as well. So that switch will really help us out. Okay, I see what I need to do. There. Activated that switch and just got out of the way. Ooh, he's got a trident this time. Look at him, thinks he's Poseidon for some reason. I got the key. Like, what are you supposed to do there? Like, if you turn around, it's gonna get you anyway. That's why they put these hearts there. So you're practically guaranteed to take a hit sometimes. At least we made it to the next area. Oh, that was thing was coming back. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that barrel to go back down before I climb up this hill. Lots of coins this way. Ooh, that was coming so close to getting me. 
telling me to go this way, so I'll go the opposite direction first. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's usually where the treasure lies. Even if it's just two lowly coins. I should probably wait for it to get behind me. Oh, apparently water hurts you in this game. Good to know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I think this is just a checkpoint for when you're in the middle of an area. That little uh, fox paw right over there. That makes sense. Ah, I had my shield ready. Okay, now we gotta go this way. Oh, I thought that was another enemy for some strange reason. Ah, oh, only two coins again? Really? Jeez, if you need like a hundred coins to get an extra life, that's a lot of coins, because you don't get a lot. This is no Mario, where you can pretty much just get, like, nearly max lives in a few seconds. You say I'm embellishing, but really, it's true. Oh, I did not get the most of my jump there. I guess I just gotta keep going. Like, can't stop, won't stop, until that happens. Oh, you get sent all the way back? That is bullcrappers right there. Fine, I'll just keep going. Oh my god, that's a whale. And he's got like a giant club. Can you imagine how weird this would be if the dude holding a club was a seal? Think about it, guys. Still haven't found a use for that silver key yet. But soon we will. I don't know if the seagulls are actually enemies. Okay, this is the part that gave me a little bit of trouble. Because you gotta go down this mountain. But there's gonna be boulders coming for you. If you fall too far down, you might actually die. Oh, come on! Don't you consider that cheap at all? You just have to get on this little thing, and there you can move on to the next area. Like, a giant boulder fell on my head. And I managed to survive that. Come on, haven't you watched Lord of the Flies? Or read it? Oh, I thought that little bit of water was going to hurt me. Knowing this game, it probably would. Oh! Thanks, Donkey Kong. Good, there was some health in there. Oh, I just managed to avoid that. Okay, the music sounds a little repeated. It's like the the track itself does not last long. What was I supposed to do about that? Alright. We can move on. Oh, now we're on this part. Barrel's gonna chase me, isn't it? Yep! I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Turning is getting weird. I think the barrel just... Oh, there it is. I don't think I have to outrun the barrel. I think I can just go on at my own pace now. 
Huh, it's another whale with a mace. I'm gonna whale on that orca, yeah! I was just thinking there was another barrel coming my way. <laughs> okay, we should be pretty close to the end of this dungeon. There we go. I think this part of the water does not outright hurt you or kill you. So I don't think it does. There's lots of health waiting for you, too, so take advantage of it. If you took a little bit of a beating. Yeah, I think you can get in this part of the water safely. Urgh! Who be the scurvy ridden bath toy trespassing in my pirate cave? I am Kingsley, a princess true knight. I'm here to put an end to your reign of terror. Well, I can't be chatting when I can be chopping. Put up your sword, flea bag. Alright. Okay, he likes to block quite a bit. There, I'll just get him while he's ready to attack. Okay, now watch out for his cannon fire. You can just strafe around him. And then when he tries to jump towards you, you better get out of the way. Just make sure you pay attention to where he is so that you can get away from him when he's ready to jump. But of course, when he hurts himself, that's when you get a free hit. Actually, I got two free hits on him. Because remember, that shockwave can also hurt you. Usually when you hit him twice is when he moves to the other islands. So all in all, this is a pretty easy boss if you just know the patterns. Oh, losing my bearings for a moment there. It's like, how you turn is just so... Oh, okay, apparently that can hurt you. Come on, I only need one more hit on ya. Shiver me timbers! I like rush at the hands, or paws of a fur-coated pipsqueak! Arg! Then he turns small and dies. I think I need to take that boat. Okay, so we made it through like the first boss pretty easily. Only took one hit. Was it one hit or was it two hits? I think it was just one. I'll just say that to feel better about myself. Oh, can I get into that? Okay, apparently that water does not hurt me. I guess if you're, like, fully immersed in water, that it does. So let me take what's in these chests before we go. Because we can get a lot of coins this way. Oh, apparently I picked up enough coins to get an extra life. Not bad. Okay, can I put the inventory away, please? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, we're getting a lot of coins this way. This is pretty much your best chance to, like, farm for some coins to get some lives. And you'll more than get your health back. Apparently some people like this game. This game feels weird to control. Like, I'll probably get used to it in time, but... Right now, it's it's gonna take some more effort. Oh, these are only the uh, copper coins. I was thinking they were gold ones for some reason. Oh, you do only need 50 coins. That's better than 100. Okay, I've been recording for almost 30 minutes now. So I should probably wrap this up soon once I clear out this little arc. He still seems sad as ever. 
Wow, my galleon and all the treasure! How can I ever repay you? Please accept this ancient armor and axe as a reward. These must be my first true knight items! I must return to Carrot Castle and report my progress! Thanks, Kingsley. Remember, we may have won the battle, but we haven't won the war. Rex the Ruthless, the Dark Knight, still lives in the Anchor Castle by the beach. Okay, so that's something I need to take, be wary of. I think to get to Anchor Castle, you need to... Uh, you need another item. One we, we don't have yet. And it involves going, going over here. That witch is very rusted! I'm not strong enough to move it! Yeah, you'll need the uh, another item to actually deal with that winch. Alright, so I guess I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next episode, we're going to continue on and report our progress. It's also pretty cool that I got myself some armor that can tank some hits, and I got an axe. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.